basically the last uh, the last tool we have here preflop is this suit selection mode now what suit selection uh, does is it allows us to select specific suit combos for individual hands now this isn't particularly useful for for select setting up a preflop range because uh, you know, nobody really has a preflop range that has more heart hands than than, than club hands, for example. Um, however, this is more useful in post-flop situations where we want to select, you know, just hands that have flush draws. Um, so uh, I'll show you this now, because you can do it preflop, but it's going to be most useful when we get into to post-flop mode. So there are two basic ways you can use this. Uh, one is just on individual hands. It's not too useful. I'll just show you that quickly, though. Um, if you have one hand selected, when you move off the grid, it tells you which hand you're controlling. It'll be the last hand you clicked on. So you know, here we're controlling 8-6 suited. Um, here we're controlling 9-6 off suit. So when we're off the grid, it'll show us uh, all the combinations that are available for 9-6 off suit. You see the suited ones aren't available, because obviously 9-6 off suit doesn't have a two-heart suit combination. If you select 6-5 suited, you know, just the two suit combos are available. Uh, if we then start uh, removing them, um, you can see they all start yellow, and then we we click, uh, we remove them. You see in the grid it becomes an off kind of off yellow. That just shows us that it's a partial selection. Not all combinations, suit combinations, are selected for six five suited. If we remove them all, you see it, you know, totally disappears. Start adding them back in, and there we go. There's full selection. Uh, we'll just do that with this hand just to show, you know, just remove some combinations. So here, you know, we're just doing it on an individual hand basis. We're removing uh, certain suits. Um, we can do it for also, you know, here we'll just for 8-5 off, we'll just select the heart ones. We're just clicking heart here. This is going to automatically select all the, the heart ones here. Okay, there you go. Obviously, it's quite laborious to do this on a, on a per hand basis. So it's much more useful uh, to do it um, over lots of hands. And for that, we use the suit selection mode. So I'll just show you that now. Um, first you click go into suit selection mode, you click it and that toggles, you just go in and out of suit selection mode like that. When you're in suit selection mode, you see every single suit combination is available. And basically what we're doing is we're kind of creating like a modifier paintbrush, so when we select in the hand grid, only uh, certain uh, suit combinations are selected. So let's say we just want to select hands that have a heart in, that's all hearts. Uh, the other way to do it is we could have just clicked heart here, that would have selected them all. Or we could do hearts and clubs, let's say. You can see in yellow here just the ones with either a heart or a club are in. Now when we hover over the grid, just to remind us we're in suit selection mode, we get a little pencil cursor and it all comes up green. And now when we start clicking, you can see things are starting to come up in partial selection. If you look down here in the status bar, you can see uh, just the heart and club combinations are getting selected. Uh, here you can see that that again, 10 out of 12 combinations of heart uh, and clubs. So we can just do that all we like. And whilst in suit selection mode, we can also use these uh, selection modes just like before. Select select all heart and club uh, aces. There we go. When we go out of suit selection mode, as we hover over, you can see again just the hearts and club combinations have been selected. Um, in the output window here, which updates every time we're making a change here, you can see you know the combination count is just going down by one as we add and remove hands. So there you go, that's that's suit selection mode. Like I say, in preflop selection it's not so useful, but you'll see that in, in post-flop when we're assigning things into groups, you might want to just select a range which just has, you know, flush draws or flushes, that kind of thing, and that's where this comes in really useful. Okay, thanks.